I kind of feel like I have an addiction and I need to go to like RC Car Anonymous. How many RC cars do I have? I get that question a ton. I actually haven't counted them in a long time. I think since 2017. Today we're going to take a look and count each and every individual one. We're also going to give a little backstory on some of my most popular vehicles, including diving into the video archives, reaching back over seven years to when my channel was first created in 2016. Let's take a look. 43, 44, 45. Before we jump into our video, I wanted to give you guys a quick life update and a word about our sponsor, FlexiSpot. My K is deflating. Happy New Year. Thank you for your continued support. This is my first creator award play button from YouTube for hitting 100,000 subscribers. So awesome. And you guys are a huge part of that. Thank you for sticking by me. So exciting to see this progress and celebrate it with you guys. Hope you have a lovely 2024, lots of RC to come, some big changes kind of in my life. I'm moving out of California. Looking forward to a new adventure. Definitely more RC headed your way. Thanks for sticking by me. And on that note, what keeps my channel going is in large part because of the amazing sponsors I'm able to have. So I'm grateful to partner with FlexiSpot again, who is our sponsor for this video. Remember that motorized desk I rode on in my base camp video a few months ago? I spend many, many hours of my day sitting at my Flex spot desk so I have a lot of time with mine and would definitely recommend this. Mountain Mike always wanted one after seeing mine so I'm really grateful they sent out another E7 standing desk this time with one of the darker desktop finishes so now he gets his own. It came with all the hardware and tools to assemble it. It took us less than an hour to put together. It has a controller that mounts to the bottom of the desk where you can raise or lower the desk with the press of a button. You can set it to two custom preset heights, a standing height and a sitting height. Very, very smooth when it's operating. Doesn't jostle anything on your desk around. Also has a really cool cable organizer. Keeps all your cables together. So literally there's only one cable coming from out of the desk. These come in a few different frame colors, lots of different surface options and sizes. If you want a premium standing desk for daily use, you can check out their E7 Pro C-Frame. It's time to unlock your best workspace in 2024 with FlexiSpot's New Year's sale. Use my exclusive code YTBNY30 for an extra $30 off an E7 and E7 Pro. Huge, huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. I was trying to figure out how best to sort them. Should I do it by color? Should I do it by size or scale? I decided to organize them by brand, Traxxas, my Axial, my FMS, my associated Red Cat RC four wheel drive, lots of stuff in there. We got a section for Traxxas trucks right here. Behind this, we have our Axial row. Lots of Axial stuff here. We have our associated Element RC, Sen Racing here, RC four wheel drive, FMS is in the back here. We have a couple low C's, Hobby Plus, Fury Tech, Hobby King, and Red Cat Racing. Start with our Traxxas trucks. Missing from our Traxxas row is the X-Max. I got that all boxed up nice and tidy, so I didn't want to take it out, but I just did a full video on the X-Max. Freaking amazing. I also have to unbox the new rally car that they sent me, so we don't see that here. Probably my most popular on my channel, my TRX4 Land Rover Defender. This was my first ever RC crawler. I have a ton of videos on my channel. I will put a link to my full playlist with all my TRX4 videos. This is the first TRX4 they ever made, was the Defender version. I got this, actually purchased this myself. This was not sent to me. I wanted to try out RC crawlers for the first time. Someone also custom made me RC Girl tire covers for the spare tire on the back. One of my favorites because it was my first ever crawler. This came before most of all these, and so I just had the most time to spend with this one. So definitely a special one in my collection. Next, we have the TRX4 High Trail Edition. This is the Ford F-150. Also has a My Trick RC light kit. Also have a full video on this one. This was their first High Trail Edition TRX4. So they took the TRX4, gave it a one inch lift, bigger tires. The Chevy Blazer here. We got some content coming on that one. They actually sent me a new body with clear windows and a new interior. So they make a scale interior now for the Chevy Blazer High Trail, kind of neat. Then they have the High Trail Edition TRX4 Sport, which is the pared down version of these three here. 
I decked this one out with my 110 scale topography graphics, which are for sale on my Etsy. I also 3D printed and painted this surfboard. I also sell the raw prints of these as well. All right, so next we have the Ford F-150 Raptor. Definitely more fast. I haven't done a full video on this one yet, but that's coming for sure. Next to my X-Max, I think this can go 60 plus miles an hour out of the box, kind of nuts. All right, now we're getting into our TRX 4Ms. I originally got the TRX 4M Bronco in red. This is the original release of my topography graphics on the 118th scale Bronco, the Chevy K10, and the Ford F-150. This one actually came with me to Texas for the RC takeover video shoot we did this past year. Fun for indoors during the winter when things are cold and rainy and snowy, so definitely a fan of the micros. All right, next we have Axial Row. I think I have the most Axial cars out of all of my collections, so let's talk about them. This here is my SCX-10 II. In addition to my TRX-4 Defender, this is probably my second most popular car on my channel. Big fan of the Cherokee body style. I don't think they make these anymore, which is unfortunate. Really cool body. I did an SOR graphics wrap on the exterior. We got a bunch of RC four-wheel drive metal parts like this front bumper here. Next, we have my SCX-10 III Jeep JLU. Also built this one from a kit, did this like champagne colored body. Took it to Moab, still has some of that red dirt on it. Definitely don't wanna wash that off. I took this one in the back of a side-by-side -side up Hell's Revenge Trail in Moab, Utah, and I actually drove my scale Jeep up it after watching a couple full-size Jeeps go up there. Pretty cool. Has a Metric FC light kit with the halos. Been to a couple Axial Fests, got some scale details, 3D printed from Night Customs. Probably one of my heaviest crawlers. Has like pretty much all the Samix upgrades you could put on it, so it's, it's a cool one. This is my original SCX-10 II platform that I built from a kit and converted to leaf springs and put a RC four-wheel drive Mojave 2 long wheelbase hard body truck that I painted and Scale Garage Systems built me a custom bed rack system for this. So freaking cool. If you haven't seen that guy's page, definitely check it out. Here we have my Axial Bomber. So this is my second bomber. This has been to Axial Fest. I've won the 5K with it, I think once or twice. Did a custom paint job, actually got this during COVID. So I have a video of me doing a scale ultra from home in my backyard. Next, we have my Axial Capra. I airbrushed this body for the first time. This one has a lot of Ot6 racing upgrades like these variable offset rims, which I thought were pretty cool. <laughs> Next, we have the 1.9 Wraith, which is the smaller version of the 2.2 Wraith that they used to make. Actually got this one from JJ Customs Hobby Shop at his first shop in San Jose. We're actually going there again to tour it this week. So stay tuned for a hobby shop tour of JJ Customs. Next, we have the RBX-10 Rift. This thing is a freaking beast. They even have rock bouncing competitions now at Axial Fest, which is pretty cool. Entered this a couple times, didn't make it very far. Next, we have my first base camp. Axial pared down their SCX-10 III platform into the base camp, which can be bought as a kit now. So I actually built one as a kit. This is my Mando Camp build. Did a build video and run video on this one. If you want to check it out, did some custom Mando graphics. But yeah, these are my two base camps. Axial also pared down the size with their Capra. So this is the UTB-18, the 118th scale version of the Axial Capra. Very cool with the Fox livery. So this is actually a SCX-24, 124 scale axial crawler that I have a hard body crawler co land cruiser body on. So he actually sells these on Amazon. They're a kit, so you assemble it all, little tiny pieces. It's so, so cute. I love this thing, so boxy. Lastly, in my axial fleet is the AX24 four wheel steer. This guy is a freaking spider. This is a 124 scale nod to their original crawler release. And when I was on the Oregon Hobby Shop tour this past summer, RC Nuts custom painted this body for me for it. This is my first ever RC in my entire collection. This is the team associated B3 buggy. Got it from Hot Rod Hobbies in Santa Clarita when I was a teenager. Kind of what started my channel is that I had some old RCs and I wanted to modernize them. So I sort of tracked my journey getting back into the RC hobby. I've updated all the electronics to brushless. I've redone the body. Hi there, RC girl here today. Um, today I'm going to be talking about... Um... <laughs> 
because it was my first ever RC. This one's definitely a shelf queen for now, but it definitely runs. Here next we have my Element Trail Runner. So you can see it is partially done. It kind of makes me sad to look at it. So I actually learned to resin 3D print so clean. So like you can't even see the print lines. They're so fine. But the story with this one, I had to move to a new place with no garage, no place to set up my resin 3D printers. Those need to be vented. You can't really do those indoors safely because they have a lot of fumes and chemicals. So this is going to be one that is still in the works and definitely want to commit to finishing it. Probably one of my cooler looking rigs kind of dusty now but this is my element ecto i took this one on a mountain bike trail i packed it with me in my carry-all rc pack took it on my bike and went to a really cool rock garden to do the run video for this one so definitely check that one out all right moving on to our send trucks I actually used to have three send trucks now i just have two i originally had the f450 now i just have the f250 lifted edition very cool rgb rock lights super fun to jump then recently did a review on the Ford Puma rally car. So this one is so freaking fun, six scale. Now we are at our RC four wheel drive trucks. I believe the Glandy two was my first RC four wheel drive truck. Actually my windows here are kind of falling off or falling down. This is the Heritage Edition Glandy two Land Rover Defender, the two door one with a little truck bed, lots of scale details. I love RC four wheel drive trucks. Recently reviewed the Chevy K10 Scottsdale. So detailed, the bodies on these are like incredible. Also, this one has an engine bay that you can build out. This past year, RC four wheel drive expanded their line to include rock racers. So this one's so freaking cool. This is a scale edition of Eric Miller's race vehicle for King of the Hammers. I took this one for the maiden run on some mountain bike trails as well. A little complicated to drive actually because there are so many functions on it, but definitely a cool looking truck, really fun to drive. Alrighty, so now we are moving into my FMS trucks. Probably my favorite one that they make is the Mashigan. Some controversy around the Mashigan, so it was really popular release. This one actually isn't licensed, so I think they got a cease and desist from Jeep because it is very similar to the Jeep YJ, if not an exact replica without any licensing. So they had to stop selling these. I think then uh, Fair RC started selling the rest of the lot of those. So I don't know if these are still available. If you can find them, definitely snag one because they were like 300 and something bucks. Very scale, two-speed transmission just a really cool looking truck all around. Same with this one. I think they used to sell this one. This is the 1.6 scale Willys MB Scaler. So I think this was actually the first Jeep that was ever made, the MB Scaler, for World War II. So kind of neat. They did a really good job with this one as well. Also don't know if these are still for sale. They make a 1.12 scale version as well. Next, we're getting into our 118th scalers. FMS makes a lot of different versions of trucks. So if you're looking for a scaled down version of something, this is the Chevy K10. This is one of the first trucks that I've practiced weathering on. They actually sell a weathered version that looks very similar, if not identical to how I weathered mine, which is kind of cool. I just got these two vintage trucks here. This is the Rock Hobby Magnum and the 118 Chevy Apache. The Max Smasher, so this is the V1 Smasher. They have since released the V2, which I did a Instagram reel and giveaway on the V2 Smasher. This was actually featured in my latest video, the FCX24. Fair RC makes a Batrazi track set for this. Pretty cool, had a lot of fun installing the tracks. Definitely a really fun, capable little RC, two-speed transmission, has some lights as well, it's affordable. So lots of great things about the FCX24 platform. A couple more of my small ones. These two here are the CR18P. So they have portal axles, 118th scale made by Fair RC. I think these are like $99, so really affordable. This is the Trail Hunter here and they make it in a rock band version. Lots of different body options and they make a souped up version of the Trail Hunter as well I just saw. We have the Furry Tech Cayman Pro, my most expensive RC microcrawler, but probably my most capable. 
has a really neat outrunner motor system. Fury Tech Electronics are amazing. This one can go so slow, a lot of precision control with these. Another great performing crawler is the Fury Tech Fury Wagon. This is a collaboration with Fury Tech and Hobby Plus, so they tried to keep the price down and the performance up. So I did a video on this one as well. Check it out. Really great performing crawler. My low seat truck. So don't have a ton of low seat trucks. This is the JRX2. They did a scaled down re-release of their one of their original buggies that they made back in the 80s. Kind of cool. Really like the pink and black livery. This one is the vintage Triple XT Team Lossy truck. Got this around the same time as my team associated B3 buggy. This was actually my brother's truck. Uh, when he moved out, he didn't take it, so I stole it and have since upgraded it to brushless electronics, upgraded to titanium tie rods. And actually this body was custom painted by one of my subscribers back in the day on my channel. He put some sand pedal tires on it. I have run it since then, but for now it is a shelf queen because it is hard to find parts for. This is my Red Cat Racing Everest Ascent. I used to have the Gen 8. I actually recently got rid of that one. Kind of sad about that one. I really liked that one a lot. I did some custom graphics on it, but for now I have one Red Cat Racing rig and it's a good one, the Everest Ascent. $2.99 price tag. Did a full review on this one. Super, super capable. Definitely more of a comp style rig, super squat, low center of gravity, good looking truck. Next, we have my Pro MT Monster Truck. So this is made by Proline, or was. I think they've been discontinued. Proline actually used to make their own truck, and this is a really fun monster truck. I actually got this at the AMA Expo down in Pomona, Academy of Model Aeronautics. They had a big RC Expo, but after the Horizon Hobby acquisition, they decided to not release any more trucks under the Proline brand. And last but not least, the Basher Sabretooth from Hobby King. I think my first ever video on YouTube like seven or eight years ago. I got this as a birthday present from Mountain Mike and actually Ozzy RC watched a bunch of his unboxing videos and it inspired us to create the RC Girl channel. So yeah, that was this truck. I'm Haley. I'm here to do an unboxing of the Truggy Sabretooth. All right, here we go. The unveiling. Ooh. Uh, hopefully my videos have gotten better since then, but it's kind of cool to look back and see how far we've come. So yeah, pretty cool that this truck basically inspired a lot of the RC Girl channel, inspired me to make videos and unboxing. So shout out to Ozzy RC for his Basher Sabretooth videos. I kind of feel like I have a problem. <laughs> 46 RC cars. If you guys have an RC collection, put your number down below in a comment. I would love to know that I'm not the only one with a problem. Next, we're going to tour JJ Customs Hobby Shop in San Jose. Haven't been there since he moved shop, so excited to check it out. If you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you later.